Holy YouTube, it's your f***ing boy, Naughty and Sands, and we're here for another episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Why am I wearing sunglasses inside? Because the lesson today is so cool that I have to be cool. What's that? How do I make a photo montage? Well, I'm gonna show you. Are you doing it for a wedding? I got you covered. Are you doing it for a bar mitzvah? I got you covered. Are you doing it to impress your girlfriend or boyfriend? I got you covered. What am I waiting for, you ask? Absolutely nothing. We're getting started right now. Alexa, how stoked are you about today's lesson? You make insurance rates go up for everyone you come in contact with because you're a disaster. Well, f you stupid robot, I'm excited about it. You know what they always say, f the haters, because the haters are just f***ing stupid pieces of sh Let's jump in. First things first is always open Premiere, start a sequence. If you've seen my other video, uh, sequence settings are all set to the right thing to get started for this montage, click OK. So first thing that I do is I find the music that I want for the montage because the music is important, it sets the mood, it either makes people cry or makes people smile. Today, we're gonna make people smile. So I've got a song that I made inside of Ableton Live because I produce music as well. Check out some of the stuff I used to do, soundcloud.com slash them lost boys. Right, so it's just a house tune. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag that onto my timeline right down here. Zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on. Extend this a little bit, bada bing. And the second thing we do is import the photos. So I'm gonna import my photos folder. And today we're really going for production value and we've got a bunch of pictures of puppies. So typically what I do is I will drag all of the photos onto my timeline, throw them right down here, and then we're gonna paste them to the music. So let's listen. All right. So we're gonna have the next photo come in here. Delete that. We'll do these ones faster. Boom. So now that we've got our pictures synced up with the music, it's time to animate these adorable little creatures. All right, so basically what you have to do is you want to figure out how you want the photos to be animated and kind of what you want them to do. So for this one, we're going to have it pop in real quick. So right about there, going to go to our effect controls up here and we're going to set position, scale and rotation for right there. And then throughout the duration of the clip, we're just going to have it scale up a little bit and we're going to have it rotate slightly and then we're going to come back to the very beginning we're going to rotate it the opposite direction and we're going to scale it down to zero so check this out all right so right about there i wanted to rotate out so we're going to set our keyframes here as well and we're going to have it rotate a bunch like that and we're going to push it off of frame left so now what I would do is I would go back to where my rotation animation starts. I would drag this one up and I would bring it over to right where the animation starts. I'm going to set some position keyframes there. I'm going to go to where the other clip ends and I'm going to set this here as well. Scale it down so it fits in the frame. And then we're going to have this one scaled down even more and it's going to rotate a bunch as well and come in from this side of frame. So now let's check that out. So now you can hear that little open hi-hat there. So we're gonna have it scale up from there and rotate. And then we're gonna have it rotate again a little bit more as we scale up. All right, so now let's have this one come in big and land right about there. And then this one is going to scale down and rotate. But first we're gonna have it come in really big so it wipes frame. This cute little guy, look at that face. All right, so check this out. All 
right? We're going to extend this a little bit and then have this one scale up really big from zero. So that'll eventually mask the other picture behind it. Same thing here, scale it up, rotate it a little bit. We're going to start it at zero so it pops in from that picture. And then we're going to click on this one and we're actually going to have the animation continue all the way to the end. So we'll pull these keyframes over. So we'll have this guy start full frame. And then I'm going to have it scale down at these eh, 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 and the vocals. So, so we'll trim it, scale it, scale it, scale it, and then we'll set some keyframes there and have it rotate slightly and keep going. And then we'll have it get bigger at the end. And we'll rotate it the opposite direction. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one up and I will have this little guy underneath so that we can apply a crossfade there. And then this little beep, we'll have it scale. So set all your keyframes. There you go. Have it go to the end. Little rotation. Basically what you're trying to do with all these pictures is you're trying to sync it up to the music so that the music is making the pictures come alive and it feels nice, it feels nice to watch, everything is in sync with each other and a lot of times you don't have to do rotations on everything. I just like slight rotations in all my pictures, scaling and moving forward, scaling back and rotating. You can have them animate off screen, animate on screen, but the biggest thing for me when I make montages is having it make sense with the music so it all feels good, right? That makes sense. So let's keep going. Then we'll have this one pop down. It'll just scale down out of frame. So again, go back to your first keyframe, pull this up and then have it, have the animation of the second one start as the animation from the other one is starting as well. So we'll set our keyframes there. We will go to the end. We'll set our keyframes where we want it to land, which is right here. Then we'll push this up And we'll have this one rotate and push back a little bit. All right, let's see what we've created. There you go guys, it was very, very simple to animate within Premiere when you have still photos. Uh, make it cool, make it fun, make it interesting. If you have a slow, kind of sad song, have the photos just kind of push in, fade in, and fade out. If, you're, if you have a fast, energetic song, make the photos pop in and rotate and do fun stuff, but make sure that they're on screen for long enough so people can actually view them right? Because you don't want them to be going so fast that nobody knows what they're watching. That's not the point of a montage. The point of a montage is to enjoy it. I'm sorry I shouldn't have gotten angry there. The creative direction of the montage is completely up to you. Choose the song, choose the animation for the pictures, but make sure you're setting keyframes for position, scale, and rotation every time you want the photos to move. If you forget to set one, but you set the other ones, you'll get weird drifting photos and everything. So at every point in the animation, you wanna make sure that the computer is registering a point of travel for the image. And then make sure that it's just synced with music. And it's that easy, guys. It's that easy to create a montage for your mom, for your wife, for your boyfriend, for a adoption center, for pets, for those horribly sad commercials you see on TV. <laughs> Why does that always hit you when you least expect it? Face
sunglasses. It's not cool anymore. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media at Naughty and Sans. Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> subscribe. Until you do, I'm just going to cry about sad puppy commercials. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, why? I was trying to watch football and then all of a sudden this comes on. Oh.